YouTube and uh, welcome back to my channel. I am Gatman Zach and today we're going to be reviewing my latest pickup. But before I get started, I want to let everybody know or tell everybody, you know, happy, happy New Year's. Hope everybody had good holidays. Um, and we're going to kick off with my latest pickup. Um, before we move into the, vi into the video, um, I just want to let you know that everything is clear. There's nothing in the chamber. Everything has been clear. So, uh, you might have seen some of my shorts. I did put this in, I think, one of my shorts. So, today we're going to be talking about the Ruger PC Charger. Now, this right here, man, this is probably my favorite gun so far that I have. Uh, I'll probably say that about every one of them, but this right here has to be one of my favorites. The funnest to shoot out of all of them. What I have is my, the funnest to shoot. It is chambered in nine millimeter. Yeah, this is my, my backpack gun. So when you first get it, it does come with uh, the Ruger Magwell for Ruger Mags. And it also does come with a Glock as well, a Glock Magwell as well, so you can take Glock Mags. So I did go ahead and get that changed out. So you know, so you, you can use your, your Glock Mags. Um, I did put a little cheap Amazon optic on here. This is a, a CV Life optic. Um, it has a laser on it. Um, red, green, different reticles on here. It gets the job done. You know, I wanted to test it to see. I know a lot of people. A lot of people are kind of particular on what optics they, they you put on your your weapons or whatever. But I I, I don't. I look at the reviews, if people say, I go on YouTube, if people say it's good, I, I try it out at least. If I get it and it don't work and it's trash, then I'll upgrade and get the, the real deal. But this works fine for me. I haven't had any problems with it, hold zero, does whatever I need to do. This is a takedown, so you can take it apart, put it, put it in the bag, look how small it is. Put that in the bag. Rock and roll. Everything on here is ambidextrous, so you can change this to the other side as far as the mag release, safety, you know, all of that can be changed to the other side. But I leave it like, I leave it like this because when you fold it, you it just gets in the way if you put it on the other side. Um, this is an SP Tactical 1913. Uh, I think it's a good yeah. So I don't know, but it's an SP tactical brace, folding brace. The trigger on here is awesome. You, you can shoot with this trigger, you can shoot this gun really, really fast. You don't even need the binary trigger. But I think I am gonna get the binary trigger on here just because the fast trigger is awesome as well. But um, you don't really need that on this. You can shoot super super speed with this. I don't know what to say, man. I paid uh $7.29 for this. I went, I really actually hit went, I've got this from Shoot Point Blank here in San Antonio, Texas. I really went in there to get the FX9, but then I saw this and I was like, you know what? For the, for $50 less, this right here, and I saw a couple reviews on it. I was like, okay, let me, let me grab this instead. Um, so yeah, that's just, so this is what I went with. Um, so if you're, you're looking for a PCC, definitely take a look into this. Like I said, I paid, it was $7.29. paid $7.29 for this. Um, and yeah, this is, this is my favorite gun so far, man. This, this right here is lovely. Nice, kind of nice weight to it. It's not really too heavy. Definitely a nice weight. The recoil on here is minimal. Yeah. Definitely a nice, nice little backpack gun. Little truck gun, backpack, whatever you want to call it. Definitely. Than that, I mean, it comes with a threaded barrel. You want to get you, a, you have you, you got you a silencer. Like I say, it does come with a threaded barrel already. Put your silencer right up on that bad boy. Now, I do, I do have a dry bot coming in. Everybody that has one, they love it. So I can't wait to get that. But 
like I said, the Sprite Box is a little bit more expensive than this. So if you want, if you want something you know that you can afford, I would definitely take a look into this. say about this man this 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 it, it speaks for itself man go get you one if you see it if you see it in the store and uh or if you know somebody that got one ask them to try to shoot it man it's this this shit right here man this is this is nice this is definitely nice and uh i definitely recommend it so yeah that's my latest pickup my ruger pc charger Um, I appreciate you guys watching my video. Um, if you're new here, uh, drop a sub, man. Hey, if you like talking about guns and you're into you're into guns and all of that, that's that's what I'm gonna be talking about on here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm more of a kind of a budget collector. Like all my stuff up here that you see up here, um, I don't think I have anything that costs more than a thousand dollars up here. No, I think the most expensive thing that I have up there was probably this Draco. That was probably the most expensive thing. All of these I bought pre pre COVID and pre pandemic, so that might that might play a role into it now as well. But yeah, if you like you know firearms and talking about them and seeing people shoot them, please drop a you know drop a sub, drop a like. If not, hey, it's all good. It's all good. Drop a comment if you see something that um that you think I might like. Please drop it in the comment. I definitely take a look and check check it out. Um, I try to dabble in, in, in into a little bit of everything. Um, so yeah, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Please stay tuned. I do like I said. I do got that stride bar coming in. Can't wait to get it. I'm gonna soup it up. So yeah. So uh, like I said, thank you for watching and stay tuned. Peace. All right, so this is the Ruger PC Charger, nine millimeter. Let's get into it, man. Watching big planner, I've been locked in money maker.